Hello and welcome to PowerPoint. PowerPoint is Microsoft Office's presentation program and you're going to be doing um, learning how to create presentations both by uh, modifying existing presentations and creating some from scratch. So the first thing you need to know is um, how to do get the PowerPoint eText. So up here in I'm in Blackboard, I'm in the Microsoft PowerPoint coursework folder. And the very first one here is the PowerPoint eText. You're just going to click on that. And um, you can either click on here to open up the PowerPoint eText or it's going to come down here. The very first time you download it, it's going to take three to five minutes depending upon your internet connection speed for it to download. What you want to do is once you have it downloaded you want to come up here on the um, in the little toolbar here and click on the little icon for save and go ahead and save this textbook to uh, your computer desktop or to a flash drive. That way you don't have to wait for it to download. You can just access it right from your flash drive or from your computer desktop. I don't recommend printing it out because you, as you can see it's 466 pages long. So it's going to be a, quite a huge um, file to print out so I don't recommend printing it out. When you're looking at the textbook within Blackboard you don't have an app there's no way to go to a particular chapter or a particular page. You click on this little bar right over here and you can drag it down to go through the textbook um, or you can just scroll to go through the textbook. Um, it's just like a regular textbook. Uh, it's just e-text. Okay. Um, PowerPoint Lesson 1, The Essentials. The way I recommend you do the, the, the class is that you at least look through the PowerPoint Essentials book. Uh, just kind of here's the key terms, backstage view, command. If some of these terms aren't familiar to you, please go ahead and look through the text. Uh, you don't have to read every single word, but just look through it. Uh, here is our PowerPoint desktop. You're going to just go ahead and just going to talk about Windows 8 and uh, just going to look through it to get an idea of what is in the textbook. Now anytime you see where it says the yellow and the step-by-step, -step, this is where you can actually follow through with the textbook and your PowerPoint program and complete something. Of course, this is talking about using the health system. Over here is a little tip, another way. You can also open the help window by pressing F1, which is the function keys across the top of your keyboard. So if you see information on the, in here in the left column, that's a, more tips, additional tips to help you out. And over here, you would just follow them. Click one, click the Microsoft Office PowerPoint building. It says, um, use the presentation that is open from the previous exercise. So you can actually hand on and work through the textbook. Quite honestly, that is the best way to learn PowerPoint is literally working through the textbook. You're going to learn so much more than if you just pop in and just try to do the assignments. That being said, I know a lot of you are just going to go pop right in and you're going to try to do the assignments. So if we come back, come down to the bottom or at the end of the chapter uh, here, do you do? Um, sorry, trying to find the bottom of the tap chapter. So you can see there's a lot here, a lot of information. So here's our skill summary. Here's a knowledge assessment. So you can, uh, here's some, a way you, you want to learn some of the text. Some of these questions will be on the multiple choice test that is at the very end of the PowerPoint module. And we don't have a quiz for every single chapter. We only have a quiz at the end of the modules. But this is where you can study for those multiple choice tests and the true-false. Then here's the assessments. So we've got our job fair here. We've got project one, two, 
proficiency assessment. Right here, this is where you're going to see the name of the assignment. Now, how do you know which assignments that you need to complete for PowerPoint? Come back here to uh, the Microsoft PowerPoint coursework. Right here is our PowerPoint lessons. And you can see for PowerPoint 1, we have to do the Mastery Assessment Project 1.5. So there's an attached file here and then complete PowerPoint Lesson 1, Project 1.5, as outlined on the e-text on page 39. You don't need to print the presentation. You don't need to print anything in this class. Everything is submitted online. Let's come back here to this Microsoft PowerPoint coursework and look and see what else is available to you. Here are some PowerPoint presentations over at the textbook. At the minimum, please download these PowerPoint presentations and look over them. These contain the information from your textbook. These are the PowerPoint presentations that came with the textbook. So uh, it's another good way to study before you start in right on doing the assignments. Here's the student data files. Now as you look through the PowerPoint lessons, all the student data files are going to be available, but they're right here in case you want to work through some of those step-by-steps that we were talking about. Here's some of the PowerPoint presentations that you need to download, and then you'll be modifying them based on the information in the textbook. So all of those are available to you if you want to utilize those. Here is a module quiz in the final project, and then here is where you can access the videos in the Microsoft IT Academy program. Remember to access these videos. You need to make sure you're using Internet Explorer, and these videos do not go hand in hand with the textbook. Uh, they are, I think they are working on creating it that way, but right now they uh, just cover the different skills in PowerPoint, but they do not follow the textbook. So if we come back up here to the PowerPoint lessons, you can see a PowerPoint 1 price list, and it says it's on the e-text on page 39. Now earlier I downloaded the book to my desktop, and you can see up here I'm on page 1 of 466. If I click on that, I need to go to page 39. So now I can actually highlight this, type in 39, and what this is, you can see, well, there's no assignments here. This is page 39 of your PDF. Okay. Notice here is a textbook number. We're on page 9 of the textbook. We're on page 39 of the PDF, so that can be a little confusing. The textbook numbers pages here in Blackboard are the numbers for your textbook pages, so we need to go to page 39 here. So I can just kind of add 30, so let's try adding, six. go to page 69, and here I'm on page 39. Or you can just use the scroll bar here if that confuses you. So here's our project 1.5 price fixing, so it tells us what we need to do. First thing it says, open up the price list from the data files for this lesson and save it as new price list. Anytime you see this little symbol right here, that means there's a, doc a document or presentation that you need to download from the student data files. Now for our class, move that over, I've also have them right here. So here's the price list. So it's opening up a PowerPoint presentation. And we're going to let this open here and then we're going to talk a little bit about PowerPoint. There we go. Now if you see this little yellow line across the top. That means you've opened it up in a protective view, and what that means is it's just protecting your computer in case there are some um, viruses in your in the file. Uh, if you know it's safe and all of these are saved, you just need to now just click Enable Editing, and now you can 
do things to your file. Okay, so now that you know how to um, download the textbook and start doing the presentations, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and uh, the next video will go over how you complete Project 1.5 in PowerPoint.